I'm just packing up your orders for the scrap packs. I've already got a few made up, which is uh, really good. And I'm just now fitting them into the boxes. They fit into these little boxes. So I'm just having fun making them look all neat and pretty. I am watching Cherie, who is Ollie and Bella. And I'm watching her Patreon because she put up a free seven day trial. So I thought I'd have a look. Um, I'm not that familiar with Patreon. Um, I don't follow, follow anyone. Um, I think you have to pay to subscribe to watch uh, channels. Um, it's really nice. It seems like a nice little community on there. I'm not really familiar with all the different things that you can do on it either. So um, I do get asked whether I'd be doing a Patreon, but I have no idea because I honestly don't understand it all. So um, maybe in this little trial, I'll get to grips with it a bit more. Um, what do you think of Patreon? Do you follow people? Do you subscribe? Do you join in with chats? Do you like it better than YouTube? Tell me what you think. Um, it's nice to catch up with my friends because I am friends with Cherie in real life. Not we haven't met, but we are online friends, which is lovely. Um, and it's so nice to get that glimpse into someone else's life, isn't it? And just the day-to-day -day life, which I just love so much. And I love how dedicated Cherie is to all of her projects. She always has multiple projects on the go and I find it really inspiring. She seems to work on them every day, which as you know, I really struggle to do. Um, and her projects are so colourful. She's just shown some scrappy socks, which look amazing. Anyway, I'm going to continue to play and keep on packing up the scrap packs. I had a really good response to the scraps that I put up for sale in the last vlog and at the moment there's still a couple of packs left if you'd like one so while I went through the packs I did pull out a few scraps that I wanted to keep for myself and I've just chopped them up and I've been sewing them into strips like this because I'm going to make some patchwork bookmarks which are always popular and always really pretty and I love 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 making patchwork like this um, that one is one where I just thought I'm just going to go really random, like a big proper patchwork quilt that I would love that just had loads of everything on it. So I've just thrown in every colour at that one. I've kept the other ones quite traditional for me, so we've got a little bit of the wool fabric there and really pretty pinks. But I'd do a red one with some of the tartan fabric because I thought that would be fun. But the others are very me, as you can see. I went with some of the darker ones. They've got slightly different themes, but overall they're all very pretty and yeah, very me. Love that one actually. Some of the fabrics have got a bit gold metallic through them as well. I love the little scissors, really cute. Um, and these are some Tilda florals as well. Um, just going to give you a quick flip through at the moment. They look really scrappy. That one's really pretty. I love that one too. Um, these are going to make those really, really nice bookmarks. And I've got a couple where I've got like this haberdashery fabric just through them as well. So that's changed the colour tone a little bit. And I've gone with some more blues for that one. And then with this one, I've made it quite, quite dark. That's not traditionally sort of sorry me kind of look that one. Because there's, I'm going to say there's no pink. There's a little bit of pink. But um, yeah, it's a little bit different for me. But I think it's going to turn out really nice. So... I'm just going to see if I want to do any more. I do have a few scraps left. I might just do a few more like pink florals and throw all these busy ones together because I think that will look quite nice too. Um, and then I will chop them up into bookmark shapes, tidy them up, give them all a backing. And then I usually put a little bit of ribbon at the top or a bit of crochet lace just at the top and then turn them into bookmarks and then um, get them into my shop. It's a lovely sunny day, but I'm having to be really disciplined and sit and work. I've just been sat up here putting together loads of scrappy panels. That one was another one that I just did and I thought I'm just going to add in all the busy florals and I love that. Oh, I really love Ditsy Florals. 
on their own put them all together i love that joshua came in and started playing with the scraps and he laid these ones out and i said right i'll make them into one as well so um we've got one there with it is a little bunny with glasses on so i said i'd make that up too um, so I've got quite a few there and I was almost ready to finish and I had a few funny shaped pieces of like the batting left and I thought oh and I've got all these little scraps so I started to play about with some improv patchwork which is just um and quilt as you go improv quilt as you go I should have filmed a bit of it actually but um I didn't think to do that because I was so engrossed in what I was doing so you can google quilt as you go it's a really good method and i really like that one um and basically what i've been left with i've got some threads that i need to trim off um but what i've been left with is super scrappy little panels i love 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 scrappy scrappy anything scrappy patchwork though absolutely love some beautiful little bits in there even really tiny bits as well like nothing went to waste with that one um and then of course i did another one because what i thought i would do i'm always looking for a little zippy pouch when i go away or on a day out i always need a pouch to put things in like a phone charger cables or in the bottom of my handbag sometimes i've just got things like lip balm like maybe a packet of painkillers uh, mints things like that and they just rattle about in my bag and I need a little pouch to put them in and you'd think that I'd have made myself something by now but no of course not um so I saw these little panels of wadding and I thought that's just the right size for a little pouch so I think I'll make myself a little zippy pouch a scrappy zippy pouch I'll have to line it but I'll just line it simply with a solid piece of fabric I won't do patchwork on the inside and then i'll have something to put my little bits and bobs in but i love that i'd love a cushion like that how nice would that be big humongous cushion scraps so yeah i've made a massive dent in my scraps which has felt really good because i had so many so i think i'm going to call it a day for now um i need to go out and finish power washing my patio um i had my tree cut it was a little more severely cut than I had thought it would be, but they have assured me it will grow back. Um, the light on the patio and the light in the house now is brilliant. Um, I think it will be really interesting to see what that does for the garden. Um, of course, that's my first thought. My plants will love it. Um, but the patio needs a good clean. And I did start it the other day, but it needs kind of going over again. Um, so I think I might go and do some of that because I can't put all my plant pots back till it's had another clean so it's kind of annoying me that I, it, it's a knock-on effect I have to do one job before I can do the other my pots are all sat over on the other side of the garden at the moment and it's kind of bothering me because I can't see all my pretty flowers properly so I'm gonna have to come back the bullet and do some power washing it's a filthy job um I did some the other day and got filthy got sprayed in the face it was a muddy job <laughs> hoping it won't be quite so dirty today though um, so I'm going to go and find some old clothes, I think, throw them on, maybe do an hour or so of that and then um, be tea time. So come in and get tea. We are having paninis tonight. Uh, we've been enjoying a caprese sort of flavour, so pesto, mozzarella, tomato, I got sun-dried tomatoes, that'll be really nice. Um, and I'll have mine with a salad, Joshua will probably want a few chips. Um, so that will be a little incentive to get on with the cleaning outside so I'm gonna go and get on at least it's a warm day so if I do get splashed with the water it's warm it's not so bad so yeah gonna go and get on with that now I think
I have just finished a really big batch of sewing. Um, I've showed that I was making some bookmarks and I've finished them and I absolutely love them so much. They are beautiful. I got a little bit carried away and I made so many. I didn't keep track. I just kept pulling out fabrics and putting them together. So I have got lots. There's about 14 there, I think. I've got a bit too many to put on Etsy because listing is my least favourite part so I think what I might do is pop them on pop a photo on Instagram to see if I could sell a few that way first and then whatever's left I can just put in one big listing on Etsy and then you can choose from them like from a drop down menu like I'll number them and then you can decide which one you would like but oh that just makes me so happy and I've used some little vintage crochet lace pieces on the top or ribbons that's a nice one. Um, just odds and ends really. I found this one with scissors on it and the fabric also has some scissors on it there so I thought that was cute. Um, I will give you a quick look at some of them. I'll maybe lay them out in a little bit and take a video that way rather than holding them all up. But I did see there was one or two that I especially loved. Um, well there's more than one or two because they are absolutely beautiful. Um, but there was this one that is just full of all the florals and I'm sorry, but I am going to keep this one for me. I think I'm having that. I love, part of reading for me um, involves like going choosing what bookmark I'm going to use. And I've got quite a few handmade ones, um, some by me and some by other people. So I always choose a new bookmark when I choose a new book. Um, so yeah, it makes me happy. And then you see it every time you open the book. So I think that's going to make me very, very happy. And I'm due to start a new book, hopefully very soon. Um, so I'm going to be using this one in the next book that I read, which is the Ellie Griffiths one. And I'll also be taking that away with me next week on holiday. So um, that'll be lovely. So I'm having that one. I'll give you a really quick flick of some of them, but the florals just look so beautiful together. And I think the crochet lace at the top just adds that lovely little vintage cozy feel to them. Um, and I've also got some of the brighter colours, which I really like as well. Um, that's quite a lot of Tilda fabrics on that one. And then I've done another one with all the matchy or the mix and match florals. And I did in a couple of ginghams and dots on that one. Um, I've just said I'm not going to show you them all, but I am. A nice blue one there, which is slightly different for me. I tend to go for pinks, but I'm um, really liking the blue as well. Just seeing some threads as I go through them there that I need to just snip off. They've all got a coordinating fabric on the back and one of my labels sewn on. It's not going to focus very well, but you get the idea. This one, they're all f covered in little um, bits of thread and stuff just because they've been sat on my table. This one's got some little bits of yarny fabric there and that one is a gold metallic. So just really pretty and that's got the scissors there too because I thought the scissors tie in with the yarn, don't they? And then another sort of purpley Tilda one. And then that one, again, a few more Tilda fabrics. Oh, I like that one a lot as well. That is a bit of me. I think I've already got one very similar, actually, that is I kept before for myself. So I'm not too tempted to keep that one. There's another gorgeous one. And then there's the nice tartany one, which I thought was fun. I know a lot of people love... Um, the fact that I'm from Scotland and anything with a little bit of tartan and there's another one with the wool on it as well and that's the one that I showed before Joshua pulled out the fabrics with a little bunny it's turned out quite cute I like that I've used a really thick strip at the top of that as well it just changes the overall look of it a little bit and then oh, I've got one more sort of bluey one if you're not into your pinky florals that's got some of the haberdashery fabric there not that I don't know if you'd understand what that even was for I don't know um, I think it's like vintage packaging for haberdashery and then I put the scissors on that and then at the bottom I've got a little clip of fabric there that is um, it's got words on it relating to sewing and haberdashery so that's cool and then the reverse of that one has got haberdashery writing on it as well and little pictures of buttons and scissors so there's the reverses of them I love that fabric that is on the other florally one um, so there's an idea of what's on the back. We've got bees, 
and just all odds and ends really a lot of odds and ends of fabric have been used up with these which feels really good as well um so yeah i'm pleased with those very very satisfying um i think i said that i was also making up some patchwork panels can't remember if i said already what i was going to use them for but i've made myself a little a scrappy pouch oh isn't that beautiful i absolutely love it so we've got that side and then i've got that side love 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 these so much yeah i can't remember if i said i'm always looking out for a little zippy pouch i did say this already so yeah i just thought i'll get on with it and i'll make myself one so i looked in my bigger scraps that i've got and found this purple fabric and thought that will do got enough of it so I've put one of my bigger labels in there just because I love to see my little lady and when I was doing the bookmarks there was this lacy ribbon that I particularly liked and I thought I had a tiny little bit left and I thought oh I'm going to use that on my pouch somehow and I've just literally sewn it inside just thought it was really pretty and I like little details like that that are just going to be kind of hidden but I'll see it when I use the pouch so I mean I don't have anything to hand to put in it really just put my rotary cutter in there but there you go you get the idea i haven't boxed the bottom i thought i'm just going to leave them pointy and it's just perfect it's the perfect size it's exactly what i needed be great for phone charger phone cable lip balm mints anything that is always floating about in the bottom of bags when i'm going somewhere out for the day having a wee break or something even like um power banks on my phone stuff like that and um, I'm not going to lose that in the bottom of my bag, but I really, really love it. I'm very happy with that. I might see if I've got something to put on the zip, just to make a little zipper pull. That would be nice. Um, not much more I can say about that, but I love it. Love, love, love. Really pleased with that. It's just perfect. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do now, actually. I had planned on making some other things from my shop, but time this week has just got away with me. So... I might go and take some photos of the bookmarks so that at least I can get them listed up somewhere, whether it's Instagram or on Etsy. Um, yeah, well, I've got some daylight. It's currently drizzly. It's not the nicest of days, but I think I'll go downstairs, gather some books to use for some props and um, take the pictures of my bookmarks. I can't stop looking at my pouch. I love that so much. I might... Do you know what another one would be nice for like all my knitting notions? I mean, I've got a million notions pouches for knitting and things like that, but that would be so nice for like your scissors, tape measure. <laughs> I don't need one. I don't need another one. Just addictive to make and so, so pretty.
I'm just popping on because I've just edited the vlog that you've just watched. Um, it's a few weeks later now. Um, it got very chilly. I was just watching back that vlog and thinking how nice it was to be sat out in the sunshine, but it's really chilly today, um, the past couple of days actually, and I'm feeling rather autumnal, dare I say it. Um, I had porridge for breakfast this morning and I've had soup on the stove and just had some for lunch. So yeah, the seasons definitely feel like they are changing. So that leads me nicely on to telling you that I am going to be doing an autumn box, a nice autumn cozy box or cozy autumn box. Um, I'm just planning that just now, but it's on sale now. When you see the vlog, it'll be in my Etsy shop. So head on over there, over there if you'd like to get one. The numbers will be limited. Um, my boxes do usually sell out and um, occasionally I'll have things left over at the end of them. Uh, but I'm hoping that I won't have too many things left over. So if you would like one, please do go and get one now because it could be your, your only chance. You might not get another chance. Um, I just realised that I could probably show you what went into the summer boxes as well, actually. Um, I have had confirmation from some of the ones that went a bit further afield that they've been received now. So think maybe I will put footage in of what went in those ones. Um, that was a really fun one to do because there was a few products that I wanted to get. Um, one product in particular that I wanted to source to put in it, I thought it was really fun. Um, so I'll pop the footage in now and you can have a look. I thought the drinks cups were really fun. Um, when I said I'm gonna go about the other boxes and having stuff left over, I do have a few items left over for the summer boxes. So if you missed out and you would like one, get in touch with me, either leave me a comment here. Um, well, you're better to email me or message me on Instagram or through my Etsy shop. Actually, um, Instagram is SoreMe and my Etsy shop is SoreMe UK. So I'll get a more direct message that way and I can communicate with you better if you message me directly rather than leaving me a comment on the vlog. Actually, that was not a good plan. Don't do that. Message me somewhere else. Um, so yeah, send me a message if you like one and we'll get that arranged for you. Um, yeah, the summer items were really fun, really fun to do. I chose stuff that I knew that I would use um, um, that I'd enjoy having throughout the summer so if you got one I really hope you enjoy it and if you did order one thank you so much um, but yeah it's time to move on it's time to look ahead to autumn and start planning for the cosy evenings the cooler days and just doing things to make you feel really cosy and hygge around your home um, so those boxes will be what where are we now it's the middle of August, near the end of August just now. So I think the autumn boxes I will be planning to have out at the end of September, beginning of October. Um, and that gives me time to gather the numbers for things that I need, order supplies. And also I do like to put in a little handmade item. The autumn box won't have a project bag in, bag in it or one of the fabric baskets. I'm going to make something else, something a little bit different this time, um, which in my head, looks amazing so I hope it turns out as well as I'm hoping um, but you're going to love it so if you like my style, my aesthetic, the things that I make then you'll love the contents of the box. Everything will be individually wrapped so it is a lovely gift for yourself or for someone else, um, such a treat for yourself as well if you order one of those. Um, and I always like to put in a couple of little things so you can sit down and enjoy a treat whether it's a drink and a little bit of um, something nice to eat or something like that, there's always that element as well. Um, but yeah, just another box on its way, so that's on sale now. I popped into the fabric shop yesterday and had a little look around and I wanted to look for some inspiration for something that I'd like to make for the autumn cosy boxes. Um, and I picked out these fabrics. The first one that I saw was this one, which is a William Morris one. 
and um, I haven't used any of those type of fabrics before but they are really pretty and I thought just with having a bit of orange in it would make it kind of uh, nice for autumn. My hands are covered in paint, I've just been doing a job, it is um, dry, don't worry. Um, so then I, I took this fabric around the shop and sort of matched it up with a few others that I liked but I saw these florals too and just absolutely loved them and this is a sort of inspiration colour palette that I've got and um, yeah I'm really looking forward to getting started on making the things that are going to go in the box the thing that's going to be made by me I also saw this little cute bear fabric and I thought it was quite autumnal as well I won't be using it for the boxes but it would make some cute little project bags or notions pouches you've got your little leaves there as well so yeah it's a very autumnal one I couldn't resist that one it was in the sale um, so yeah looking forward to having a play with those but they're just so pretty this big seagull has just landed on my shed outside. We are, as the crow flies, or as the seagull flies, we are probably not too far from the coast. So we do get some noisy seagulls. Um, they are very noisy. The seagulls, the crows and the magpies all aggravate each other. Sometimes they're all flying about making an absolute racket. I've put some sweet corn out with my bird feeder and I'm wondering if the seagull has come along for uh, some lunch. Mm. Don't often get them down in the garden, but yeah, he's uh, he's going up to the feeder. Uh, you can just see the sweet corn there on the left. Um, yeah, didn't mean to turn into one of those people that feeds the seagulls, but I didn't put it out for the seagulls, so oops. be happy how many times do you have to feel lonely before you get the chance to meet someone before you get to meet someone like you how many songs can you write about heartbreak how to go on when you're fed up with mistakes maybe i just found the answers maybe i just found the answers in you you to know we can make 